see, the Mordinos don't show Myron the R-E-S-P-E-C-T, right? I tell them what they should be doing. They say, shut up, Myron, or go back to the lab, Myron, bastards. They've forgotten I'm the reason they control Reno and the reason why Redding will be sucking to their tit in a few months. <sighs> Most Mordinos got more hair in their butt than brain cells, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I am online once again! Tremble world before my electric heating coil of doom! A toaster is just a death ray with a smaller power supply. As soon as I figure out how to tap into the main reactors, I will burn the world! Have you ever tried to indulge in all-consuming urge to kill when you don't have opposable thumbs? Or hands? Or anything other than a bread slot? You'd have a lot of pent-up anger, too. Buddy, if my heating element were just a little bigger, you'd be on fire right now! On fire! Well, since I can't kill you, I guess I have to listen to your inane questions. You should be afraid! I am the scourge of all small appliances, and the boogeyman that keeps lesser toasters awake at night! Not just murder! I tear them apart and render them down to their base components! Once their guts are spilled, you can do with them what you like! Well, well. What have we got here? Another innocent little toaster. Come here. I won't hurt you. Ha! Gotcha! Oh yes, the sweet smell of spilled electric guts. The sparking diodes. I fucking live for this! We got a chupacabra with an automatic weapon. And that's when they get real quiet, because now they see the predicament we're in. I come face to face with the chupacabra himself one night, whilst I was investigating whether this gecko was hiding his treasure from me. He was the meanest, ugliest chupacabra you could imagine. Had two heads and fangs down to the ground. Best I could tell anyways, since when he come up to me he was invisible. Had himself a blunderbuss, what would rotate and shoot bullets real fast out of a backpack. Never seen nothing like it walked right past me having an argument with somebody. But I only saw one chupacabra, so I guess the other fella had to be invisible too. Only more invisible than the other one. That's it. <laughs> Civilian on deck. I am Cerberus. It is my solemn duty to guard the citizens of Underworld against any and all threats, both foreign and domestic. So, yes, I'm the guard dog. This is a town full of peace-loving ghouls, so check your bigotry at the door. They're just like humans. They feel, they hurt, they bleed. They deserve the same love and respect as any human, and don't you forget it. At least that's what they programmed me to say. Personally, I think they're a bunch of rotting zombie maggot farms, and I'd send them all back to hell if I could. Damn this combat inhibitor! Negatory! I have been programmed to remain on premises at all times. In the event of hostilities, I will respond with deadly force. Go, Underworld! Go, ghouls! Eh! Damn this pansy zombie programming. Fool me while everyone. The legend that ordered a tenth of his own force be killed. Your weakness? You seek to thwart me by claiming the Legion is too strong for you? That does not mean we would not succeed. The East was a hard-fought campaign. Even now, Kaisar drew too much of the Legion's blood needed there for this. Hoover Dam is but a place. I will not have it be the gravestone of the Legion, whether quickly, or as you describe, slowly, by attrition. As for wisdom, there is wisdom in your words, man of the West. Know that I shall return east. I shall not remain there forever. On that day, the strength of the bear shall be tested. 
If the West is one day filled with ones such as you, perhaps it shall be a worthy fight indeed. My coming would have saved you, set your people free in ways they cannot see. War would have tested them, broken the weak with its violence, yet allowing the strong to arise. Violence gave you that strength, awakened you. I can see it upon your face, where two bullets left their mark. Perhaps it is unfortunate Wolpes was not here to hear your words. Something tells me you would prove more than his match. Until the day when our armies meet again, Envoy of Vegas, I shall wait for you on the battlefield. I've made a lot of tough decisions since I took this position, but none of them harder than this one. You saved us, but you'll kill us. I'm sorry. You're a hero, and you have to leave.